garden shop how to garden video. In this video we want to show you the next step in caring for your radish and is how to thin your radish seedlings. So you can see our row beneath us here, it was sold about four weeks ago and now the seedlings are large enough to be thinned out. So we'll show you the process. Basically radish seedlings should be thinned to about five centimeters apart. So I just come down here to the beginning of the row and you can see here some larger radish. These are the ones we want to keep, while the ones in between we can now just pull them out. So I'm just going to make sure I don't pull out the larger one we want. And just with my fingers, it's going to pull out the radish. Okay. So you want to just thin out all the, the ones you don't need. Like so. And see now I have roughly five centimeters between the two uh, radishes that I want to keep. So you can just continue to do this along the row. And then there should be one here as well, and we have one here. Now these thinnings, they can be used in salads or in stir fries, so they don't need to go to waste. They can all be used. So you do your thinning out when the seedlings are large enough to handle, and we do it so that we can reduce competition between the plants, create greater airflow, greater uh, water and sunlight getting to your radish, making them grow stronger and faster. So again, this is four weeks since we sold our seedlings, our seeds. Uh, and the other things that we would do now regarding maintenance of our crop is that we would weed around the uh, radishes, which you can see I'm doing now. I'm just pulling out all the other weeds that are growing in between the radish. So to do that, you need to weed by hand, pulling up the seeds, the weeds that are very close to the actual crop. And once you've done that, you can then take a garden hoe, such as this here, and run the hoe in between your rows of your crops. And you can do this for all your different vegetables. Just taking the garden hoe and run it up between the rows and that way it's a nice, quick and easy way to uh, weed your crop. Ideally you want to weed your crops every two weeks. In dry weather it's also important that you keep your crops well watered, especially for root crops otherwise they can split. So I'm just going to show you that now, giving your crop a nice watering over, like so. Uh, and you'd want to do that in any drier weather, keeping the soil moist at all times. Uh, I think that's it really, yeah, that's it. Uh, how to maintain your radish seedlings from the garden shop that I eat.